Hello, Sula here from MistyHilltops.com. Thanks for stopping by. I have another page for my winter 2018 mini album, which is a four by six size mini album. And I'm using the digital version of the collection um, Hello Winter by Cartabella. And I'm scrapping three photos. They're small, um, they're pro uh, maybe something like one and a half by two inches um, large. And I'm starting with this larger strip. I already cut these apart because they will be uh, going across two pages with a binding in between. And so I am just aligning the two. I can align them along the fo fold line or the score line, I guess, but it's not really a score um, that will uh, fold this um, page. So it's... Um, that part is easy I just need to make sure that they are aligned with each other and sometimes my um, my glue clogs up a bit when I'm starting to use it the first time at for of the, of the day or something so that's what that is about so here I am just um, putting down the first it's a strip of paper basically although it's just a tiny bit of paper here because I had to cut apart the strip of paper and then I am starting to glue this and then I realize, well, I need to put the um, circle behind that. So I'm not really um, sticking it all the way down. I should have put the circle first, but I also want to make sure that I have it the right way. So that's a bit tricky there. And then I have this other strip of paper that continues and that needs to be tucked underneath that one. So, but it all worked out. Um, for once, I actually remembered the order of which so that I don't just stick things down and then I realize, oh no, like something should have gone underneath or behind that um, layer. So here I am now using my ruler to line up um, the parts that will go, uh, that will be continuous across the two pages because the gap that is now pretty big will be rather small when the album is actually put together. And again, I have to be aware that um, when I glue this down, I have to see that um, there is that strip of paper again that will go at the bottom. So I'm not pushing it down too hard at the bottom so that I can uh, easily tuck it underneath there. And for a moment I was hesitating because I was wanting to make sure that uh, the paper isn't directional, but it really isn't the um the mittens there are upside down and right side up so it goes both ways and then i have um, once i have the background layered then i have this other circle that still needs to go um, somewhere in the bottom of this part there and then i i made this frame in um in silhouette based off the photo size that i want to use and here again, this is how I actually cut apart. I just um, put my ruler along the um, the score line there and then just um, cut this apart. So this is, doesn't mean that um, this will go away. It will just continue on the other, on the other page um, as I mean to continue that photo. So here I am starting to glue down the photo um, behind the frame there and um, I just apply a, a tiny bit of glue really along the edge only because there's not much space between the frame and the photo where the photo ends. So I have to be, uh, it's a small space, but um, anyways, at some point I probably will share this frame as a freebie on my blog, mistyhilltops.com. Um, so because it makes a nice embellishment there and then i have to again it's already measured because i cut off that small piece there and so i am just I, all i need to do is just line it up with that score line um, to the right of the left page and so here again i am lining up the two pages so that i can decide where that tiny piece of frame should continue because when the pages are put together, there will be much less of a gap in between. So here I am done now, and now I can um, glue down the photo that will go next to that. Um, this one is um, a portrait, the other two are landscapes, so that makes it, um, that me meant I couldn't continue with a, um, just 
putting three photos in a frame. That's why I had to create a frame that has two photos in only. And then I have these paper flags that I want to um, add to this page as well. And then here come the embellishments that come with the kit. And what I do is this is, for, for example, from a cut apart. So some of them are um, embellishments, but some of them are the cards that come with the, the cut aparts. But that's the beauty with um, working with digital products. You can resize them to any size that you like. And so I can um, make them really tiny to work with my small four by six size pages here. And then I am ready to um, add the little um, title there, which is comes from one of my dies. Um, it's just uh, just as fun. So that's that. And then all I have left are the uh, my paper strips. I have paper strips that I'm working with. Um, they are winter themed, and you can download them as freebie from my blog mistyhilltops.com. I have a whole bunch of these word strips. All that you need to do is um, print them on cardstock or whatever material you like, then trim them apart and then you can use them. So I am using them a lot as um, further embellishments um, on my pages because they're just fun to work with. So here I am trying to key, to consider where I should put the three clusters. I try to keep it with three clusters, keeping the visual tri triangle there so um, one goes down where that little tree is one was where the paper flags went and so one um, goes right there by that circle and that creates a little triangle there and then i have these little um, die cut buttons they cut they're just dies and um, they're, so they're basically paper buttons and I have um, I want to add those to the page so one I put over here and the other one I, I will put over there and that is my page done I'm going to leave you with summer close-ups I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did consider subscribing and I hope you have a great day thanks for watching bye